This is a picture of an installed watchdog card. You can see the base card has this little switch and has the termination for the RS-45. If you have multiple inverters, you will use that terminal down here. There is a description that says AB RS-45. The watchdog card has, again, has three inverter options, but you can use it as a single inverter, two or three. The watchdog can hold data only for a day and a half. So if you lose the internet for uh, certain reasons, then you, have to, you want to make sure that the, uh, the data comes back with at least one, or one and a half day. The card is easy to install. Since you have to install it still yourself, it takes about two or three minutes. It's a snap and putting the screws in, uh, connecting the blue cable right here. It's a, it's a small ribbon cable. It's a little smaller than this. and gets connected to the bottom base card in here and to the card over there. Let's say the card is installed right here. Uh, let's say it's connected, everything is on. It will do its reboot. It will take a little bit of time. It will scan everything, set up itself, check for the internet, which is we, of course, don't have now. And uh, it just goes through a few sequences. But when you install the card, you don't have once, let's say everything is installed, and you're going to come afterwards and install the card. But if you do it all at the same time, of course, you can do it. But this inverter has to be off if you install the card. That's very important. If you keep the inverter on, you could damage the software on a card. Uh, for instance, you can also, if you shorten something in here, there's a little fuse, this one right here. It's a five volt fuse. Uh, a customer of Sanjevity has actually blown the fuse because he, he tried to connect the RS-45 wires and he kind of went scratching around here and blew that fuse and the inverter was dead. Because what this fuse does also controls the brain of the inverter itself. This is the control card and this is five volts. This voltage for this comes from this card. So once the fuse is blown, nothing will happen. The inverter will just be dead. So that was one thing. So now you can see the card is connected. It's installed. It's doing a scan. And it's going to sh try to find you know, the inverter and the internet. But then after this is done, we can do a check, like I talked about before, where we can then check um, scan for the inverter. And we can also see the sequences on the uh, communication and see if the internet is actually there or not. And there's also a SOP uh, rewrote that we can hand out, that Sanjavity has now, that can hand out to each installer that then you can read through through the process. And every uh, signal, every blinking, let's say three times blinking means communication is pending. So you have a little table. Table one shows you this, table two shows you the system information, and the table three shows you application. It takes a little bit of time to scan. But in all cases, it's very good to wear gloves when you install the card. Because all you have to statically discharge yourself. Because when you start least charged and you touch the card, you could damage the software as well. So touch the metal, touch something, touch the ground, make sure that you have no static on you, and then you install the cards uh, in general. Let's see. That once the card is started up, you can do a little testing here um, and then do a little troubleshooting. OK, now you can see that the card is doing um, a single blinking, that's a calm light. So we now the link light is not on, and the act light is not doing anything, and the calm light is blinking three times. That may actually means there is communication is pending. But so now we know that there's no internet connection or no link connection, there's no connection to the router. Even if you have a cable in here, and the cable is wrong wired, uh, this will probably show up. Sometimes the link light shows, because the cable is almost connected right, but there's one pair that's twisted. That means you have connection to the router, you have voltage, but the link com light will still blink. So in this case, you know that you have to check your wire. You have to make sure the wire connection uses your master link to check if the connection is correct. And then you run your cable new. Once this is all done, we can then check if the inverter is connected to the, <coughs> to, the to the card itself by moving the cursor. You hold the push button. You're moving the LED up to the application light. And then you let go. Now it's doing a scan, making sure, trying to find the inverter. In, in, in this case, again, it's not going to find the inverter. And it's supposed to blink as much as those inverters are connected. So, But in this case, it will just go back to just going up and down, as a, as, or blinking back to the uh, calm light now. This is a quick start guide, again, that you can take with you to install the card. It will show you what to open, what to do. I mean, it's very simple. Once you've done it once, it goes quick.